The Southern Baptist Convention is dead wrong in removing Rick Warren and another church because they believe in women ministers. That's a shame that they would do something like this. You, you as a Southern Baptist, you might say, well, but we're just holding to scriptures. No, you're not. You're holding to your little narrow understanding of the idea of women in ministry. Yes, you have a couple of passages, basically two verses that you use to try to forbid women in the ministry. But what are you going to do with other passages? Like Romans chapter 16, where we have Priscilla, who's a co-pastor with her husband, Aquila. What are you going to do with Junia, who's a female apostle? Even one of our church fathers described her as a female apostle. What are you going to do with the promise that God's going to pour out his spirit on all people that sons and daughters shall prophesy. And you Southern Baptists believe that prophesy is preaching. So daughters are going to preach. Well, they're only supposed to preach to women. Well, don't tell that to Priscilla because she preached to Apollos the gospel of Christ and got him to understand more fully the gospel. Friend, what are you going to do with Paul who said there's no difference between Jew and Gentile, male and female, for we're all one in Christ Jesus. What are you going to do with the fact that Phoebe was a deacon of the church? See, what I'm trying to tell you, there are passages that contradict or at least help us to understand better the other two passages. My point is this. I'm not saying that Southern Baptists should force people to accept women in ministry, but neither should they constrain people not to believe that. There are some things where they got to have to let people have autonomy and decide for themselves on disputable matters. That's what Romans chapter 15 says. There are disputable matters, and we ought to be open to allow people to have different opinions about things that are not important, that don't pertain to salvation. Look, Southern Baptists haven't always been right. Southern Baptists were pro-slavery denomination. That's right. Their stance was slavery was taught in the Bible, and that's the way it ought to be. They were wrong there then, and they're wrong now on this issue. Look, Southern Baptists... They're basically cessationist group. They don't believe that any of the gifts of the Spirit still can still happen in the church. They hold a minority position on that because the greater church accepts the gifts of the Spirit. But what do they do? They take one passage in 1 Corinthians 13 and nullify everything else in the Bible. So they're wrong on the gifts of the Spirit. They forbid its missionaries to speak in tongues or they won't get any support. Friend, what I'm trying to tell you is the Southern Baptists are not always scripturally accurate. And in this case, they should allow for autonomy and allow its members, if they want to believe in women ministers, to believe in it. And if they don't, to not believe in it. Let autonomy rule in the Southern Baptist Church.